all righty what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel for another market update today we're doing an extremely early update and you know why because uh i'm gonna lay out what i think is going to be going down just like i did over there uh for the discord members all right so um and i think it's going to benefit the most amount of people to know this stuff in advance okay so first thing i'm just going to point out all right uh nasdaq across the board you have nq you have qqq they signified a lower low you also lost this zone right here which you like clear as day this is where your buyers have been stepping in same thing over here on nq okay uh es now actually let me just quickly run through everything uh i shared this morning let's um over this all right so ES also had a, uh, look at that, you have a bullish diverge going on here, but you had the four hour bullish diverge over here on NQ. I think that's what I saw. Yeah, okay. So NQ has a four hour bullish diverge. It's not on, it's not on QQ and this guys is why I like to keep an eye on everything. I really do. All right. And this is the exact reason right here. All right. Um, it's because of this. All right. But because you, you came down and made that lower low. Now, guess what guys, we're looking for sellers to step back in quicker than they did yesterday. I don't think they're going to come back up and back test this thing because that would be an equivalent high or it would be a higher high. Now they can, if dealers want to pull the tricks, like, hey, there you go. I've been trying to tell you guys, like, this is where the, the mockery goes down, all right? Like, technicals, there's still, guys, technicals, the only reason anybody has an edge in this market is because of technicals. If anybody wants to argue with that, like, hey, all right, I, I promise you're not in the right place. But if you want, if you're open to your mind being changed, I will continuously show you just how technicals end up playing out, all right? That's uh, the value that I uh, seek to provide here on the channel, all right, guys? If you guys are, uh, you know, obtaining that value and receiving it on the other end, please, you know, help out the channel with a like, share with your friends, do everything. If you're if you're not a subscriber yet, please, like, hey, feel free to follow along. We will, uh, I'm serious, you're, you're probably not gonna get information that you would get here from other channels. I just don't see it around, all right? And I will do my best to uh, help the community out for free. All right, for absolutely no cost to you. So uh, if you're a fan of that, hey, come to, you know, support with a like. <laughs> That's all I ask. All right, because um, again, it's free, all right? Someone said something uh, uh, the other day, and uh, my response was, uh, I think it was yesterday in the Weeble comments. They literally said, uh, "Why? what are you trying to prove? And uh, my answer was, uh, I'm just see, I'm, I'm just providing value for anybody uh, who seeks it on a daily basis. And guess what? This is exactly how you build a brand. All right. You don't build a brand from not providing that. You, you just can't. All right. It's that you're never going to get a brand. All right. And there are tons of brands out there. And guess what? They all did the same exact thing. So that is what I'm doing here on the channel. So at the end of the day, this is my brand. All right. And uh, yeah. All right. So let's go over things. Okay. Uh, NQ or not NQ, QQQ. All right. I want to point out how far you ripped up already over here on the hourly CCI. Uh, you did start, you know, ripping up here. And Q also has the same thing, whereas ES, I believe, has not yet. So ES is still just, you know, chilling down here. Um, actually, we did make the lower low over here with ES, all right? So you have this uh, higher low from, from these over here. All right, you have a higher low. You have a higher low. You had that. And then, like, if you want to say that was a higher low, then technically, yeah, that was that. And I think I did that, actually. Um, so, I mean, I guess, you know, QQQ told us what we need to know right here, all right? I'm pretty sure this is exactly... Um, what I was pointing out in yesterday's video is like, hey, all right, you made the lower low compared to that. So we were looking for the lower high. You came back and back tested. And actually, I adjusted my trend line as I was making my uh, Weeble update yesterday. And it, the picture became extremely clear to me. All right. Um, and again, guys, like they are, I'm, I'm serious. You're, you're not going to find value like that across anywhere else. At least I don't know where to find it. And the only reason I created this service and like, I'm not talking about the Discord or Patreon. I'm talking about this this free service all right my youtube updates my weeble updates because i have no idea where anybody else is providing that so i was like oh let me make my place of the marketplace let's do this thing all right um so yeah like the weeble updates guys they'll tell you exactly where you want to know you don't need to come here watching these like 10 20 minute videos each day i promise all right i got you in a quick little brief update over there and let me actually uh, blah, 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 blah. let me come over here and let me just show you guys what in case you guys like don't know what they are okay i just want to show you all right so this was last night's all right we're coming over here all right and this is literally i will just literally show you exactly what's going on in the charts and this was a brief little one oh it turned all blue there all right but it was pretty obvious all right and uh there's that you can come over to the one before that it also told you exactly you know the probable scenarios that were going to be going down and like if you, I don't know if I drew it out this time around. Um, I think I did. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, typically, I will, you know, I'll, I'll paint a probable scenario. I'll, I'll show you guys what's going on here, right? We ended up getting the bounce from here, right? We come over here to Bitty Corn, all right? But let's actually close that out, all right? Because, you know, I just want to, you know, get this update out to you guys as soon as possible, all right? But let's actually see what happened with Bitcoin. Did you end up holding the line there, all right? That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a bounce here, all right? And I ended up saying, that, hey, this is going to be telling, all right, probably with the rest of the market as well, all right, so you made this, so this was your higher high, your, your higher low from over here, but guess what, all right, the second you came down here and you broke this uh, higher low right here, well, now you got a lower low, okay, you got a lower high right here, you got a lower low right here, all right, Bitty Corn is likely coming down, okay, so there's that going on as well, so, you know, Bitcoin goes with NASDAQ, NASDAQ also shows the same exact things going on, all right, um, now, what I'm personally going to be looking for here to uh, look for a top, which I, I'm not going to say a top, but like that's going to be, you know, when my edge starts popping up. All right. Uh, specifically, what I like to see is I like to see this hourly CCI right about over in, in an extreme. All right. If we have an hourly divergence, that is just so much freaking better. Like you have one over here on ES, all right? Literally coming down here and then you come over to the 15 minute time frame. Look, you got the same. Ex it's literally the same exact. Uh, setup as we had yesterday let me call this out right here right like it's literally this exact same thing and it, guys if you want access to these like this isn't all my information this is the free stuff all right but if you want like literally just to know like around the clock what is going on and you know where we're moving well likely moving i can't say with complete certainty because you know well not any certainty not complete certainty just not any certainty because no one knows at the end of the day what's going on you got to take what the market gives you and that's just what you got to do okay um you know if the market gives you some ticks take take those off all right uh, scale out all right um but yeah all right so uh what i'm going to be looking for all right to see where this you know this lower high is going to be stepping in. i don't think you're going to make it all the way up here so this is 3 uh 19 to 320 all right i, I think you're probably going to end up uh, stalling out 318 and 319 you're probably going to come and hit your head on here and you're not going to end up getting into this zone maybe maybe they do hit you with the equivalent high like that's also the thing they can easily hold this this trend change right here like you got the you know from over here all right boom 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 all right and then you it, it clear as day you're getting a trend change so they can uh they can hold this as long as they have an equivalent high but if you come up and break the high then i'm gonna say hey it's on dealers mockery is on and i don't yes dealers fuckery that's that's what i really want to say i just don't know if youtube's gonna like you know come and come and saying something about that i don't know all right um but yeah you're uh, getting warmed up here it looks like all right uh, now coming over here to the four hour time frame, all right? I want to point this out. Um, was it on QQ? I was pointing this out, or over here? I think it was over here on QQ. Okay, um, I think it was. I'm not sure. Um, okay, well either way. All right, so I want to point out where your your four hour CCI is over here, and when you it actually let's let's take it back. Let's really look at like, hey, what was the topping process before? Because this was also something I pointed out this morning. All right, um, over here, you had your first close over underneath the 8 EMA, and then you shot back up, okay? But guess what? It was met with another low high. All right, so you have this high. You have, a, you have a higher low right there. Boom. This is, I remember calling this out, by the way, guys. Everyone still up here was saying the same exact crap they're saying right here, right? Which is like, oh, the trend is your, like, I mean, I, I'm saying that too. The trend is your friend until the end. That's what I'm pointing out right here. Hang on. Let me let these guys out. Hey guys, do you want me to post my dogs on Twitter? I would love to share my dogs. They do so much, just so many funny things, dude. Like they were doing this morning. It was very funny. They also beat the crap out of each other pretty much nonstop. So, you know, that, that brings a joy into my life as well. There's that. All right. Um, oh, by the way, SPX hourly gap fill over here, right? That is also another pivot point that we could be looking for. That would signify a, uh, like over here, you had your low. Okay. You had your like, hey, this was your high. All right, let's actually go through this, all right? Boom, low, high, higher low. All right, we're gonna we're gonna disclude this, right? We're gonna disclude this. We're gonna say that's your high, all right? Boom, higher low, all right? Lower high, boom, all right? Lower low. So again, signifies trend change. So right here, if you get that chance, guys, this is honestly where I, if I see it, I'm gonna go short. They're guaranteed. All right, that is where I shall be pulling my trigger. Obviously, like I'm, I'm gonna be looking for the conditions I just told you guys about. All right, that's I'm, I'm doing my best here to uh, become a profitable, like a consistently profitable trader. And uh, you know, I think I'm well on my way. All right, and and that's uh, yeah. All right, you can see that over in the Discord. I don't know. All right, um, 
But yeah, over here with, uh, what was it just pointed out? SPX. No, QQQ. All right. Yeah, the four hour uh, CCI. All right. I pointed out, like, yeah, you've started losing the AEMA. Guess what, guys? That was, uh, I think that was today, right? Yeah. No, that was yesterday. No, because this actually closed up here. Okay. So I guess that was over here. So that's what I was pointing out this morning. All right. Uh, right here was your first close underneath it. I think the little, the close was 313. That was down here. Yeah. So there's your first close under. Well, I mean, technically you had over here, but we're going to say right here. All right. And then, you know what I just pointed out over here, how you ticked back up here and then boom, you started coming back down. All right. You ticked back up. You started holding the AEMA right there. And then boom, you started ticking back down. And once you got your second close under it, all right, which was right here, then you started having your, like, you know, an actual, like, you know, a decent, I don't want to call it a watershed or waterfall or like rug pull or anything. I don't want to say that. All right, I don't want to sound like a perma bear. I'm trying to be a realist here. All right. I'm like, I'm continuing to come here with an unbiased opinion. All right. I'm here to make money. I got to consistently pull market out of the money each day. All right. And this is like, you know, I, I'm using this stuff. Okay. There's that. All right, but I do want to make this quick so I can get back to, uh, you know, watching screens and watching the smaller time frame to see what's going on. All right. Um, but yeah, you see over here, you literally did have your clothes. You ticked back up. You had this close underneath it and boom, you actually started to have, I think it was like a 10 to $15 move down from that close. All right. So let's see where you had any really significant bounce, right? You fell 15 bucks there. You could say, yeah, so 10 to 15 bucks you fell. All right. So that would be equivalent to us. We finally had... Um, that right there is to say we we're going to close underneath today, which the max pain for today, guys. All right, it's the 20th, 420. Happy 420 if anybody smokes out there. Not anymore, but like, you know, uh, you know, have a blast. Uh, 413 over there. And then you come over here to, uh, by the way, guys, smoking, I, I don't think it goes too well with trading psychology. I'm just going to say that right now. All right. Anything that's going to be messed like alcohol, weed, like alcohol, I mean, I guess that's fine on occasions and stuff like that. But um, I think it's really going to mess with everyone's trading psychology. So, you know, be aware, if you're in the market, just be aware that that's something that's 100% going to bog you down, all right? There's just no reason to, you know, do that if you're really planning on improving, all right? Uh, 405 here is the max pain for tomorrow, though, and that's what I'm getting at, guys, all right? So you got 420 today, all right, which would be 413. So that would be them sucking you back down here, I think. Uh, where's Spy? Oh, it's down there. I deleted it. There we go, Mr. Spy. Okay. No, they actually, they would be moving you up today. All right. That was 412 this morning when I shared that, but now it's 413. All right. But either way, tomorrow is 404. And I've been telling you guys, all right, the dealers, they, they're going to pull the trick, all right? I told you guys, I thought this was an effective bull trap. Like, look at this, guys. This is crazy price action we're getting. Do you see this? Do you see this? You see all of these, this slow grind up? Like, dude, no, everyone's been on the edge of their seat. All right. I mean, I haven't. I've been chilling. All right. Uh, if you guys do want, help keeping a cool mind i got you all right because at the end of the day that's if you're sitting here panicking it's it's one of yeah it's one of two things all right you think you know what's going to happen next or you are oversized it's one of two things and i will continue to remind you of that in the discord so if you're sitting there with fear like i'm just gonna i'm, I'm sorry but i'm gonna keep reminding you hey there's one of two things going on here. It's either you think that you, you know what's going to happen next, which is going to lead to terrible decision making. I promise. I've been there, done that, don't want to do it anymore. All right. Uh, or, and that's like, it's conflicting because I do this with the channel, but that's why I try and make it very clear. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what comes tomorrow because, you know, that's going to lead to bad my psychology. All right. But in the end, no, I hope I make it very apparent. I have no idea what comes next. All right. Um, or again, you're oversized, all right? And that's going to lead to terrible decision-making this morning. Like this morning, I just took myself out of the, the calls. I took it open, all right? Well, not at open, uh, around open, all right? Because my edge was popping up. And then, um, yeah, I literally I scaled out pretty quick. And then, like, when I found myself hesitant, I just took myself out of the trade. That's just, hey, all right? It's because you're not comfortable with it. You don't do it, all right? And uh, that's that. Um but yeah, over here, guys, I'm just saying, all right, if you do start getting what we got over here, all right, it's going to start popping up pretty quick here. You're underneath this AEMA. I don't know how that close is going to happen. And like I said, the dealers, they're going to trap you guys. They're going to trap the bulls. They're going to make it so any shorts that we're waiting uh, are just probably aren't going to get a very valid entry. This is uh, up here, guys. I'm just saying, all right, up here, it's you see how you've had this slow grind up here. You pretty much made a double top. So that's also a thing. All right. Um, but it's pretty much it's pretty similar to what you got going on here. You had this all all of this impulsive price action up here. All right. This whole time. And then you finally got your chop. All right. And guess what I'm going to call this distribution. OK. You had this massive freaking boom, bop, bing, boom, pow. All right. It's the same thing you got over here. Impulsive move. 
all right? They're clearly distributing on these pops. That's what they're doing. They're accumulating down here, distributing, okay? Well, guess what? That's, you know, you got your impulsive price action. Where'd the impulsive price action go? All right, it's, it's gone, all right? It's not here. Now you're just getting a ton of chop, which is showing me that they're keeping you in a trading range. They're tricking you. I was warning you guys yesterday that you had VIX's uh, monthly OPEX, all right? So VIX ended up popping up. And this is why, I actually, I'm not sure what happens here, all right? Um, but I uh, I do think the markets get a little bounce here because of what's taking place over here on Mr. VIX, all right? But notice you, uh, the four-hour time frame, you just stayed under here, all right? You're finally just chopping it up, just like you over here. So I think it's the same as what I'm pointing out over here on the market. I think VIX is also getting ready for a decent sized move. All right. But I want to see on the daily time frame, I want to see you close back over there. If you close back, it's probably, you know, you're going to have a few days of it over there or you're going to have your spike. All right. Now, I don't know if you get a spike like you got before. I don't know if the market's going to crap its pants again. I got no idea. All right. But I was telling you last time, like, hey, the market's literally crapping their pants right now. All right. Everyone's betting on a crash. But guess what? Why are the market? Why are the dealers going to pay everybody out as everyone's loading up on a clear as day opportunity? All right. It's like up here, right? I'm seeing the amount of permables I'm seeing up here. And guys, like, hey, I don't want to offend anybody by saying these things. That's literally just a term I'm going to have to use, all right? Permabull, permabear, all right? Down here, people, everybody thought a crash was coming. Permabears, all right? Up here, everyone thinks you're going crazy up here, okay? And, like, you're crazy to be going short when in reality, you just moved up, like, over 10%. That's literally what you had over here. I think this is actually, like, 20%. Yeah, over there. All right, so yeah, you can go crazy. I'm not going to deny. I, I've literally been saying like, hey, my problem scenario was you were going to come in here and that's where they're going to hit you with a gap down at some point. Um, but we are approaching FOMC and we are approaching big tech earnings. And actually, we can come over here to uh, Tesla. All right, and Tesla has died. All right, but this is actually, you know, this isn't a bad, uh, like, you know, you lose this, you're probably going to come down here 146.41. All right, we have another gap to fill all the way down here at... Uh, 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 122.63. Let's put that on the board right now. 122.63. All right. 122.63. All right. Uh, go a little log debt. All right. And you also actually have this one down here, which is at 114.39. All right. So uh, these are going to be acting as magnets now that you've lost. Um, well, if you do lose that support, that is, uh, I was saying up here, you kind of lost your trading range. This is actually, so I'm. I'm not going to say I'm salty. I didn't take the short, but this is exactly what I was. This is the zone I was looking for price to get rejected in. All right. This is just literally. And this is what I was saying about the whole distribution thing. All right. If you have an impulsive move leading into a zone, you're getting ready. If you're consolidating like this, you're getting ready for a decent sized move. And I don't think the decent sized move here is Tesla to the upside. All right. But I will say, all right. Um, Oh, I'm not going to bring you guys over to Twitter, but I saw a, I, I retweeted something. If you guys do follow my Twitter, guys, just know I retweet a lot. All right, but I pretty much retweet anything that I, you know, I agree with, anything I find important that, you know, people might want to know that I want to, like, look back on, all right, anything. So, like, you know, you can go check that over there, all right. Um, but, yeah, if you if you are, you saw what I retweeted. I think it was last night. You had uh, Tesla coming out with a, uh, like, their Q1 earnings. Like, even though Elon had a, I think I saw, like, I was seeing people say, like, a 20% margin drop or something like that, all right? Like, it wasn't looking good. I think they had an EPS beat as well, all right? Uh, their Q1 revenue was still higher than all of any other quarter. So, like, even if in, st in this tough time, Tesla's still going to be a beast, all right? So, like, hey, you know, like, maybe this is going to end up being a buying opportunity for Tesla. I'm just saying, all right? You're, you're, you're down here. You're there, all right? I do think you're, you're going to come back and fill these gaps. But guess what, all right? Tesla is a... It's a beast of its own, which is why I typically don't, I don't, I don't do it. All right. I knew we had earnings come up. I didn't want to take a bet on here with uh, calls or puts here. I, I did not. All right. I didn't want to short Tesla strictly because of what I'm getting at. I know how the markets work. All right. Tesla, whole different beast. All right. I just don't want to do it. All right. Uh, maybe in the future. I don't know. All right. Um, but across the board, guys, you are getting, um, you're or not getting, you're making your way back up. And I don't know if you're going to come up to this back test, right? But if you come up here again, I'm just saying, sellers held the line one, two, three, four times up here. So like, again, I'm sticking with the same thing, guys. You get the blue box, you start moving past the blue box. We'll say a 15 minute close over this blue box. I mean, tech, I really would like to see an hourly, but um, yeah, you, you start moving up into this blue box. That's like, that's your short squeeze territory. But if you like, if you keep getting rejected like this, like this is an objective short, all right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts. And if you move up again into that blue box, it's literally just going to, again, it's going to be your objective short on this back test right here. So now you have two objective shorting opportunities there, 
right? Plus, you're probably going to have some conditions suggesting that, you know, you're going to start rolling over after that. All right, you see up here, you actually do see right here, all right, you did start making your bearish divergence pop up right there on the 15 minute time frame. All right, and that's what I said I was looking for. I think we still have more to go. That's what that looks like to me. All right, but you know, I could be completely wrong. I, I do want to finish this video up like you know, right now though, so I can, you know, get back to things. All right, let's look at big boy Apple real quick before we get out of here. All right, Apple, again, getting rejected right here at 167 where did i get 167 from four hour time frame all right over here this was your peak all right you were getting rejected you cannot have your uh well you had your daily close over it but so you're having these wicks come up here and if you step up here guys the reaction spots that i'm gonna be watching there all right uh, i put 170 on the board right there just because if you went straight up that's where you would be hitting that but i'm gonna take that off all right just now it's 169 170 ish if you come up uh yeah, 170 is right about there. All right, but reaction spot is going to be 171, 31 gap fill. That's why I got my alert there. And then you got this trend line. And um, yeah, and then you got that trend line. And you already did have that trend line, but look, you busted up through it. So, uh, and that one was literally just made by these wicks over here. So uh, there's that. Let me get those off of the board. All right, there we go. Let's get 170 out of there again. All right. I think that is pretty much all I really wanted to show you guys. Okay. Um, I just wanted to get on here relatively quick and show you guys what's going on. What did I just say? What What did I just say? I know I just saw something. What did I... Hold up. Oh, XLF. Okay, XLF is what I saw. Look at this. So it's finding its resistance in its uh, zone up here. All right, guys. So this, in my opinion, this is also an objective short. All right. Uh, to be playing data puts on. All right. Um, just because, you know, we, we all know the banking crisis that is, it's a crisis, right? The fed literally said the banking, I, I don't think they said the word crisis. All right. But I think they said something along the lines of, uh, the banking, we're going to call it the banking fiasco. Okay. They said something along the lines of the banking fiasco is going to cause a recession in the second half of 2023. All right. Which means like, Hey, next FOMC meeting, I wouldn't be surprised to see him, uh, you know, uh, like if we're staying up here, I'm just saying it's it's likely that he throws water on the fire. Um, he did end up putting a top in over here. All right. I don't know if that's going to be the case over here. Maybe we're going to come down. We're going to find support down over here. But guess what, guys? You know, we got big tech earnings next week. All right. The big boys, not not the small guys that's been taking place here. We got Netflix and Tesla. We got the big boys next week, I believe. So, uh, you know, th there's going to be that. All right. And Tesla just died, I think, 7% off of a... Uh, Earnings down here. All right, let's just see. At a low, yeah, you fill seven to eight percent. All right, we're gonna see if that happens to Apple, guys. It's tanking the market. And look at that. You're literally so. This is the point of TA, guys. This is the whole reason we have this channel here, and we are doing this each and every day. All right. Uh, with that being said, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. If you guys see DXY breakout, hey, bad things for the market. If you see VIX come over here. All right, if you see, you know, VIX start exploding, like we did have VVIX start exploding. Okay, wow, look at that. Okay, so VVIX is also doing another thing today. All right, so the only reason VVIX would be moving like this is if the expected move on VIX is moving because this is the uh, volatility of VIX. All right, so just like VIX, all right, this is the expected move of SPX over here. All right, right now the expected move is pretty low, eh? You know, there's not a lot of fear being priced in the market, and this is what I'm saying, right? Guys, the, the more time you spend down here, like I'm, not even the more time, guys. It's just, it's destined, in my opinion, it's going to explode from these levels, all right? It's not going to be something where it just picks up. You're probably going to see a lot of people just caught off guard because look at this, all right? You come over here, all right? The last time you were here, was that over here? Yeah. Oh, very quickly, you just started spiking. It was a big old thing, all right? And yeah, you cooled off after a little, but it was a big old thing, all right? We are literally, the market is pricing in. I don't care about the whole zero DT phenomenon going on, all right? I really do not care. And let's actually see, I... Can I actually see a wedge in here? Hang on. Um, oh, we got the freaking arrows on these now. Oh, no, never mind. No, we don't. We find it on the four hour time frame. Would it be better to find here? All right. I mean, technically, guys, you do kind of, I'm, I'm seeing it pretty clearly here, but like then also, I don't know. Would you make that your touch point or would you make it these? No, oh, this is conflicting. All right. But let's, um, hang on. Boom. boom, boom. I mean, like, regardless of if this is a wedge or not, okay, it does look like it's a wedge formation, all right? But I'm just going to say, regardless of if it is actually a, like, this is a well-defined wedge. This is a well-defined wedge, well-defined wedge, well-defined, you got a channel over here. All right, be kind of can play it like that, all right? But look at that, all right? Um, regardless, we're getting a consolidation pattern, all right? And uh, these are the things that VIX typically explodes out of, so... 
Um, oh, right here. You got another consolidation pattern before you've literally exploded. Look at that. All right, you had your wedge formation right there. And that's all I'm getting at, guys, all right? Um, but yeah, guys, I, I'm, I'm just saying, all right, if you are sitting here going long up here, I'm going to say it's, it's most likely not going to be the best idea. Um, and that's my personal opinion. All right. With that being said, guys, if you want to join us in the discord and trade with us and get all those updates, then Hey, uh, feel free to do that. All right. We'd love to have you. Um, eventually guys, I am going to cap the, uh, you know, the amount of people I have over there in there. I don't know if that's going to be at a hundred people or, uh, slightly above that, but, um, we are getting up there. So we are going to see. All right. Uh, with that being said, I will catch you guys over in the next one. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and support the channel. Peace.